What's up guys, I'm Big Worm 380 and I'm back in Crystal Isles. So what we're gonna be doing in this episode, I'm gonna show you guys how to make element before without having to do a boss fight. This map is similar to Aberration in that they have 10 charge nodes that you can actually craft element in, but there's kind of a lot that goes into it and we're gonna go over all of it. I'm gonna try to zip through this kind of quick. I'm gonna show you guys where the charge nodes are. I'm gonna show you where to get the certain things that you need that you you just can't find everywhere like stone or whatever so uh but just real quick uh we tried to record this the other night and i screwed up on basically didn't have the screen on or whatever in my software but uh tk built us a kibble dino uh place to put our kibble dinos and i think it looks really nice it's especially cool with the torches on at night Got our Argies up top, got our Pteranodons, uh, Therys, Udys, uh, we've got a couple Scorpions and Listros. And to round it off, we got an Oviraptor to boost the egg production. Okay, so if you want to make element in the charge nodes, you're going to have to have a few things, or several things actually. You're going to need eight batteries, you're going to need blue gems, red gems, green gems, element ore, and congealed ga uh, gas balls. Now, if you notice the batteries are under miscellaneous in the smithy you're going to need congealed gas balls just to make the batteries i'm going to show you the 10 different locations where the charge nodes are at eight batteries a piece that's going to be 80 batteries if you're going to do all of them and i would suggest doing that um, when you make the element in the charge node you only get three element for all the stuff you put in for to it but if you have t all 10 of them and you know where you can find them and go straight to them then uh, you can just kind of go in a big circle around the map and you can get 30 at a time, which to me is worth it. Uh, this is something to let you get your tech replicator and start building tech stuff before you do the boss fights. It'll actually help you, you know, get ready for the boss fight. So uh, since we can't make any of these without congealed gas balls, uh, we need to find, uh, we need to make a gas collector. Structures, yes, gas collector. So the gas collector takes cementing paste, crystal, metal ingot, and red gems. So the first thing we're going to need to do to get our gas collectors going is go to where the gems are. Now, I don't know if there's other spots. This is one spot uh, that TK showed me, and it's, it's a damn good spot, so we're going to go there first. I'm using the awesome teleporter mod. If you do not have this mod, obviously this is, all this is going to take a lot more time. But this, for the sake of the video, we're just going to shoot right over there. Now, where we put our teleporter pad is right by this big rock. And as you can see, it's dark and I can't see anything. Perfect for a video. Okay, so you've got these real big crystals. You can hit those and they kind of do that electricity thing. That's just going to give you like rare mushroom, stone, and crystal. What you really want are these little greenish ones. Those give you all the gems and they give you element shards along with crystal. Okay, so you can get those. They're on the ground around here. You can climb up on this big rock and go in here. God, this is terrible lighting. Uh, what I would suggest is if you have a good Anki that you harvest metal with, there we go. Uh, bring the Anki and clear all this out. And then also, uh, if you so choose, there is this weird floating ball of water. And you can take your Anki into this. You'll just get on him and ride him in. This is actually water. Don't bring your flyer up to it or you will get kicked off. You'll fall in the ball and your flyer will be up wherever. You can go in here. The problem with coming into this part, uh, you're actually swimming in water. They have the same, uh, this has a lot of, this has a lot of these little deals here too to collect. But the problem is you have this electricity sphere in the middle and it will shoot you like it's doing me right now. So I would suggest really there's some out here there's some over there and on that big rock and you really have plenty oh shit okay so anyway uh i would just you can go in there and get more stuff but you're going to be getting shot the whole time and it's kind of frustrating uh there's still plenty around here to collect 
especially if you have your uh, harvesting settings up a little bit. So this is where you would get your gems, and this is a, this is a cool place because you get all the gems and element shards. So we're gonna run back to the base real quick, and I'll show you the gas collector. Okay, so now that we have our gas collector, uh, we have our stuff for the gas collector. Let's go there, there, and what else do we need? Crystal and cementing paste. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make a gas collector. Um, just for grins, we've already got four of them down. So now that we have a gas collector, and I would make I would make a handful of these. I'm gonna go ahead and put the map up on the screen. As you can see, there's different two different areas where you're gonna find the gas veins on the map. Okay, and we opted to go down to the uh, southeast area. I don't think it's necessary to put to try to find all these little pink dots. If you go to the Art Gamepedia website or just search um, Crystal Isles gas veins, or no, yeah, Crystal Isles gas veins, then it'll bring up, you'll find a link to this map and all the little pink dots you see are congealed gas ball gas veins. So you're gonna need that many gas collectors. I don't know if it would be worth it with the time it would take to fly if you don't have teleporters i mean those gas balls are gonna make i would make you know i don't know if you don't have a stack mod maybe like five to ten of them and just try to keep them clustered in a small area where you can remember where they're all at i'm gonna teleport to one of our uh gas collectors and show you guys kind of what to look for so here's one of the gas collectors that we put down this little deal right here where it says gas vein that's the little if you played aberration then you're kind of familiar with this if not uh these are not super easy to find why is my bird walking okay guys so that's one of the many gas collector spots like i said just use that that uh interactive map on the the art gamepedia wiki and it, you can scroll over the actual pink dots and it'll show you the coordinates for each one uh, they're kind of clumped up pretty close together it on the map it looks like so it may be kind of hard to get to each one but you'll have a general location and probably be able to find them the hardest part of finding these in this area is how vertical this area is there's a lot of up and down a lot of stuff maybe up high maybe down low so just you're gonna have to look for them i would put as many of these down as you can uh and once those are down now you play the waiting game got to wait on those congealed gas balls another thing you can do you're gonna need element ore Element Ore is located in the Bee Cave, which is over in the Redwood uh, area, and I'm going to take you over there right now and show you how to get Element Ore. All right, guys, so this is uh, the entrance to the Bee Cave. It's down on the bottom floor off this, like, mountain. Uh, the You can see the coordinates are 30.89 and 30.72. So when you fly in this thing, I would bring a, I would bring an RG or a Pteranodon or something like that. Um, you can fly through here. The bees will not attack you unless you attack them or you hit one of these little small, this is where you come for honey, for giant bee honey. A uh, really good way to get, you don't have to get bees in this one, you can just make a run over here. Be prepared to fight off these bees though when you do it. Also there's dire bears up here, okay? So obviously you wanna watch out for them. When you come in that entrance though, you wanna break over to the right and come on down this way and you can see this pathway just kind of rotates on down to the water we're going to land our rg right here you will need uh scuba gear unless you have a ton of points and oxygen uh because we got to go a little deep and it's not super close what i would do is walk through this little crack right here and just jump on in i've got a lot of uh oxygen so i'm not worried about it You could actually bring an Anki down here, um, but you want to, you'd want you have to watch its uh, oxygen, and I don't think it would be worth doing. Uh, you don't need a ton of element ore, I don't think, for each set of uh, elements, so it's just faster to do it this way. But I would make scuba gear. I'd make a couple sets of scuba gear. Right now, there doesn't seem to be anything spawning in down here, which is very weird. Uh, you would think there would be all kinds of stuff down here to kill you. 
but there's not at the moment, so I would take advantage. So here's what you're looking for. This is, uh, unless I'm passed any up, I don't think so. Once you pass all this stuff up and the floor kind of opens a little bit more, is a little more clear, you'll see these rocks down here, these black and purple bluish ones. You can just hit farm these with your pick if you do it with, oh, actually, I guess for element, for the element ore, you want to go with your hatchet. Uh, our gather rate is way up again, so you're not going to get that much, but there's still tons of these rocks, and there's more down that way. I haven't explored this cave, and I don't think I'm going to do it right now. So use your, your uh, hatchet to get those, and yeah, that should be all you need as far as element ore. As far as I know, this is the only place to get it. I could be wrong on that, but uh, this is probably the easiest place to get it, too. So assuming you have your at least eight batteries, we're going to go to the first charge node. This is charge nodes one and two. The, uh, this is just where I started. This is in the snow, and there's two of them right next to uh, the blue obelisk. So these would be good ones to start off with, literally right underneath the blue obelisk. And here's one over here, and the other one's right over there. Now, I just did these a little while ago, uh, so they probably aren't charged up. They are not charged. So what happens is it takes like 30 something minutes for this thing to charge from zero to 5,000. After you make your element in it, then it it goes down and it won't, you can't use it. And I'd already done both of these. See, there's my element from the other one. So that's number one and two. And the location for this, you can just come to blue ob or uh, 50, 25, 80 and 56, 51. That'll put you right in between both of them. So let's move on to number two. All right, guys, this is the second location. This is the third uh, charge node because the first two are right next to each other. So we are going to put in our gems, our congealed gas balls, and our element ore, and then just click on that. And you see the charge batteries already went dead. And this takes 30 seconds for the element to make. So I'll be back in just a few seconds. All right, so the three element just made and this titanosaur, excuse the shaking, but I can't do anything about that. Uh, so you get three element every time. So now this thing takes five minutes for this to come back online. Then it takes 30 something minutes to go from zero to 5,000 for the station itself to be charged. And then it takes another few minutes to charge your batteries. So it takes a total of 42 minutes, I think in 20 seconds from this point uh, to where you can make element again. So there's 10 deals and 42 minutes apart or 42 minutes for after you, you know, use one, you're not going to be making a ton of element really fast, but you do get 30 if you get all 10 and you can hit each one. So the coordinates for this are 4173 and 3166. We're going to move on to number four. All right. See, this says fully charged. So it's just the same thing. I'm just going to put everything in and go with it. All right, guys, this is uh, what I've labeled charge node number five. Let's put our stuff in, get that going, and I'll give you the coordinates. Coordinates for this charge node are 6058 and 16.73. It's going to be down in the tropical area. Okay, guys, this is going to be number six. Same as before. Do that, and I just go ahead and take all this stuff out. And your coordinates for this one are 77.24 and 32.40. Again, this one is in the tropical area, just a little further south. All right, guys, this is the seventh one. Put my stuff in, take my stuff out. And this is located at 65 or 64.56 and 46.34. Okay. This is like in between the, it looks like the blood crystal area and the desert, right on the desert edge. All right, guys, this one is what we have as number eight. This is up on the side of the volcano, okay? This is actually not far from our base. Um, if you are using these awesome teleporters, be careful. Uh, I would teleport not on your mount if you bring one. I would just teleport by yourself or uh, you know, stand next to your bird like I did, because if you jump off your bird the wrong way, you can easily fall down. So let's go ahead and load it up. This one is located at 55.2 and 59.36. 
Okay, guys, we are at number nine. Uh, this is going to be... This one's going to be 59.82, 72.07. This is going to be right in the swampy area, right on the water. Okay, guys, this is the last one, number 10, uh, 4652 and 6970. Uh, this one, let's bring the map up on this one because this is not... Okay, so it's kind of right there. It's, it's northeast of the volcano, so it's not too far. Um, none of these are really to the extreme edges of the map. They're all kind of in a kind of a circle, uh, about as far away from the center as this one is, just kind of rotating through the different biomes. So, all right. Uh, I did all 10. I only have 27 element because I had grabbed the first element out of that one, uh, where the two first ones were. So now we're going to head on back to the base. All right, guys, so that is how you get element uh, without having to do the boss fights. Like Again, I, I really liked the mechanic that they introduced in Aberration to be able to do that because it allows you to get at least the tech replicator, uh, you know, and some maybe, maybe some tech generators and things like that going on a little quicker without having, you know, once you do the boss fights, then you're just farming the bosses on the other maps to get element to run your stuff, and it's it's... To me, it makes more sense to be able to get element, even though it's pretty grindy. Um, but once you get everything set up, it's not that bad. It's just a matter of collecting your gems and your element ore, and then hitting your gas collectors, and then going to each charge node. Uh, the, the the initial setup is kind of involved, but it, it's not too bad. So uh, just remember, uh, there's 10 charge nodes, eight batteries a piece, so you're going to need eight, eight, 80 batteries. Uh, I would make as many gas collectors as possible if you're not playing with a stack mod because um, there's going to be a limited number of gas balls in each collector if you're not using one of those. If you are using a stack mod of some sort, like we are, we only have four down, and that's more than enough for us. So, uh, but yeah, just, you know, put it on your to-do list of chores when you get on uh, so you can you can hit those charge nodes as often as possible. And remember, once the ch once you make element in one, it's going to be for about 43 minutes before you can go back to that that same charge node and do it again. But anyway, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope this helped you out. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.